Hey everyone, Road Breach here, and today we're covering the trailer for Transformers Galactic Trials. I gotta say, Hasbro has been blindsiding me with these game announcements. Last month, they decided to show off Power Rangers Rita's Rewind, and now they decided to hit me with a new Transformers game, probably as something to hold us over, while Transformers Reactivate receives the polish and additional work that it needs. I was working on a game review that I am not going to get out on the 4th of July, it is just not going to happen, but hopefully I can get it out before the end of this month. But without further ado, let's do this. Transformers Galactic Trials is a racing game which was something that was proposed in this video by Key and Charlie as a clone of Mario Kart Double Dash, where characters are put in teams of two, and each character has a set of items that they're more likely to pick up, and you switch between which character uses items and which character drives by hitting a button. This was something that I thought fit very well if you were going to make a racing game with this IP, but obviously that was just a concept and not an actual game. Little did we know Hasbro was going to commission an official Transformers racing game pretty soon, but instead of copying Double Dash, it looks like they tried something different. The game does have normal racing and vehicle mode, where it seems you can use these Energon cubes on the track to fill up your boost meter, so you can use it strategically if you need to gain ground on your opponent. And the game has sections where you transform to fight off enemies in robot mode. I was not expecting this to be the solution to inject Transformers into a racing game, and there's a good chance this might mess up the flow of the race. There are times when I'm playing Doom Eternal, and the constant movement makes me think there could be something to combining a race racer and a shooter, but I guess we'll just have to see the execution of this idea when the game comes out. Oh, and something that kind of bugged me is how Megatron clearly has his fusion cannon in the trailer, but he instead uses a reskin of Optimus's Ion Blaster. Megatron has used more artillery than just his fusion cannon, by which I mean I have seen him use a pistol once, and I did use a few additional guns when I played as him in Fall of Cybertron, but he's just using this rifle like his fusion cannon isn't on his forearm. For visuals, it didn't slip my notice that they're once again using the evergreen models that they use in Transformers video game collection. I don't hate these designs for the characters. We even get to see other characters in this style that look just as good as the ones we've already seen in this style. Like, have we ever actually gotten to be able to play as Flame War, Alita, or Nightbird? I don't think so. So to see them being playable characters in this is actually pretty neat. That's actually not entirely true, because Flame War has been playable in Transformers Universe and Transformers Earth Wars. Castle, did you get an upgrade? I have in fact gotten an upgrade, and luckily it's not one that ruins my processing power. Okay, that's good to hear. Anyway, the enemies look incredibly generic from what I can see. However, the tracks look very reminiscent of the Cybertron games with similar architecture, like this tower and these tubes. These are definitely a step up from the Cybertron levels from Beyond Reality. Outright Games have made a name for themselves in this community by publishing games that aren't the highest quality. I was bored with Transformers Battlegrounds, and while I did like Transformers Earthspark Expedition, it crashed on me and the enemy AI made the putties look formidable. So I definitely believe people are in the right to be concerned with this particular game. As for me, I'm mildly optimistic for this game, though I do worry about Reactivate, because keep in mind, Hasbro still needs to spend money in order to get these projects going, and AAA live service games eat up money like there's no tomorrow. But what do you think from what we've been shown? Do you think differently from what others think of this game? Disagree with anything I said? Let's get a conversation going. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, and gotta zoom.